Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. This marks the sixth straight time Northern Illinois has played for the MAC championship and they take on Bowling Green in this particular ball game. It started with some coaching points for both teams in this ball game. Our keys to victory, looking at Bowling Green, they have to keep their foot on the gas offensively. This is a high-flying offensive attack. Quarterback Matt Johnson has 41 touchdowns, six interceptions. We know they can put points up on the board, but they have to keep their foot on the gas and not allow Northern Illinois back in the ball game if they're able to build a lead. And I think they must avoid the special teams breakdown. If there's any knock on Bowling Green, it's their punt coverage units. They give up an average of 19 yards of punt return. That right there cannot happen versus Northern Illinois, who has a bevy of returners that are able to take it the distance. And I would also shade coverage toward the outstanding receiver, Kenny Galladay of Northern Illinois, force those other targets to make plays consistently in the passing game. And for Northern Illinois in this ball game, defensively, it's about taking one thing away. Bowling Green is a well-balanced offensive attack. They can run the football real well with Travis Green. We talked about Matt Johnson and his prowess throwing the football. Take one thing away, make this offense one-dimensional, and you give yourself a shot. And offensively, I think they have to keep Kenny Galladay on the move. Sometimes you want to line him up as a split. Sometimes you want to put him in the backfield. Sometimes you want to put him in a slot. But keep him moved around the formation, and that will help him find his way in this ball game. I would also double up on defensive end Taylor Royster. This is a guy that lives in the opponent's backfield. He's dominant versus the run. He can get after the quarterback if you want to run weak side or run to the strong side wherever they align him at you want to get him doubled up with either a tackle tight end h back tackle anything you want to do to help run right at him and make his biggest strength which is getting after the quarterback his biggest weakness The biggest X factor in this game for Bowling Green, I think, will be the play of their offensive line. Quiet has kept. They've given up a lot of sacks this year on the season. I want to say 33 sacks they've given up. They're facing a very talented defensive front seven in Northern Illinois. And if they can't protect Matt Johnson back there in the pocket, they'll struggle in this ball game. And for Northern Illinois, I look at the other wide receiver, our Gerald Turn. I think he's going to have to have an excellent day because you have to expect Bowling Green to come in and try to take Galladay away from this offensive attack, putting more opportunities in the hands of our Gerald Turner. If Turner is able to answer the bell because he's a very talented player, then he could have a huge day in this ball game. I like Bowling Green to come away victorious. When you look at what they do well offensively, it's a little bit of everything. They can run the football very well. Travis Green is a tremendous runner, over 1,200 yards rushing. Matt Johnson. 41 touchdowns to only six interceptions. They get everyone involved offensively. Their receiving core goes four to five deep, and I think this offensive attack will be able to have some success versus Northern Illinois. Now, they may be stopped early on in the ballgame, but when you have that many options in the passing game and the tremendous tailback behind a very good offensive line, eventually your offense will get rolling. I think that'll happen in this ballgame, so expect another high-scoring affair between two outstanding MAC programs.